today is day four of my 30 day SQL query challenge. And the problem that I have taken for today is a very basic SQL problem. It's basic, but it is a very frequently asked SQL interview problem. And especially if you are in the range of zero to two years of experience, then this is a question that you will most likely face during your interviews. Okay. And it's a basic problem, but remember one thing, this is a kind of a problem that when the interviewer will ask you, they expect you to answer it. Okay, because it is pretty basic. And if you fail to answer this kind of a problem during your interview, then it kind of creates a very bad image about you uh, with the interviewer. Okay, and that is why I'm including this problem in this series so that in the future, whenever you're giving interviews, you see a problem like this, you should be immediately able to solve it. Now, as you can see, the problem statement is pretty simple. We have been given an input table. It has three fields. There is an ID, there is a name and there is a location. Okay. We need to write a query which is going to derive the output as shown here. In fact, we need to derive two different outputs. Okay. So in the input table, we have five records. So the ID field is from one to five. And then in the name, you can see that some of the records are having null and some of the record is having a name like David. In the location, some of them are null and there is one record with the value London, right? The expected output is we need to from this data, we need to derive one David and London, right? So basically we need to ignore all the null values in each field and we are basically fetching the first ID, the least ID, right? The second output is again, the name and the location is still the same, but the ID needs to be the highest ID, okay? So we need to write two different queries to come up with these two expected output. Now, why I'm including these two queries is because sometimes the interviewer might ask you to show this as the output. Sometimes they might ask you to show this as the output and the deviation between the queries for these two result is like very minimum. Okay. And that is why I wanted to include both of them. Okay. Now, again, as I have mentioned about this challenge, you'll find a data set uh, and scripts, everything in my blog, as well as in my discord channel, download it, try to solve it, share your solution, and then help each other in my discord server. Okay. Now I'm going to be solving this problem using PostgreSQL database and I have already created the table as you can see. Okay. Now, when I look at this data, the very first thing that comes to my mind is I have this ID field, which is from one, two, three, four, and going until five, right? My expected output for the first one here is I need to return the ID as one. So from this particular column, let's, let's just focus on this one column. If I want to only fetch one, what are the ways I could do that in SQL. Now, some of you might think, okay, probably I could use a limit, right? Now you could use a limit. So for example, let's say I'll say ID from this particular table and I'll say limit of one and I'm getting one. That is fine. Okay. But probably this is not the right solution. A better solution for this is probably we could use an inbuilt function here. Okay. And I'm telling you why this is not the right solution is because I got ID that is the correct value. But when I want to fetch name and location, so let's say if I want to fetch comma name comma location, then it's not going to return me the output that I was looking for. It's returning null and null, right? I wanted David and look, uh, London, right? So this is not the right way of doing it. Then what is the right way? So I'll comment out this, okay? So another way of doing this is if you look at the input data, when I have a list of integers, if I want to fetch the lowest value in that, then I can use an inbuilt function that is min, right? So if I say min of ID, then if I say from this table, and if I run this, I'll still get one. Okay. Now this is the correct thing to do because uh, no matter in what order the ID was mentioned in the table, the min of, min of ID will always fetch the lowest value. And that is what we wanted here, right? That is fine. But what about the other two columns? Because the other two columns are where care columns. They are kind of strings, right? Now the thing is min is an aggregate function which you can apply not only on integers, but you can also apply on varchar. When you apply on integers, it basically fetches the least integer value. When you apply on varchar on the string, it basically fetches the least value of the string. So if, if you have values like, let's say, a, d, x, then a will basically be the minimum value, d will come next, and x will be the last value. Why? Because it's following the alphabetical order, right? So the same way, and null is something like it, it basically kind of gets ignored, okay, in this case. So if I just do a min of, let's say name, okay, and if I run this, you can see that, okay, 
I need to run it again. You can see that it's fetching me one and David. In the same way, if I could just copy the same thing and I put it for location, okay? And let me give an alias here, ID, this is name, and this is location. If I run this, you can see that I am getting the output. So the solution to this problem is very simple, right? Whenever you have a data, input data given like this, you have you might have multiple records and you want to fetch one of those values from each column, okay? You just need to use the aggregate function min or max, okay? I think min or max both would work in this case, okay? So it's basically fetching David, location and the minimum ID. Let's say if I do a max here, what happens, okay? If I do a max here, you can see that it is still fetching the same result. Why? Because generally the null is getting ignored by this uh, aggregate function. Okay. So whether you use min or max does not matter, but yeah, we can use any one. Okay. But the important thing is now in this particular solution, I got one David and London that was for this particular problem. But sometimes the interviewer might ask, the ID should be the maximum ID, the highest ID. In that case, instead of using a min, just use a max here and then just run it. You will get the second output. Okay, so that's it. This solution is very basic, right? I hope you understand this. So in the future, you get a problem like this, immediately use the aggregate function min and max and show your output, okay? So I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching and see you tomorrow with the next one. Bye.